hello. Okay, this is sick. Alright guys, so it is finally time. We are fully building this turbo cart engine. We have EFI on the way. This thing is going to make a complete transformation. Ghost Power Sports totally hooked it up and we are going with a full stage four build with a, with a couple of extras for more turbo oriented stuff. Here's how the turbo engine sits. It's completely stocked with 18 pound valve springs um, and the governor removed. Ghost Power Sports totally hooked it up. We have a state, all the parts for a stage four build on this thing. Um, so that includes a shaved head that's been ported and polished. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful in there. We have, we have really powerful double valve springs in here. Uh, estimated like 50 pounds, something like that. So we're not gonna have any issues with boost blowing open our valves. So that's awesome. Um, we have this ARC side cover, dual bearing. Never used one of these before, but apparently if we're having super high power on this Predator, we're gonna need it to keep this thing in peace. So, then the typical ARC rod, and ARC billet flywheel, these are just things for um, longevity and reliability, so don't blow this thing up. Next we have these Black Venom Roller Rockers. These things are absolutely incredible. Really excited, and to show those things off, we got a clear valve cover. This is called a 265 Fire Cam. This is basically one of their cams that gives us the biggest overlap in, um, in the longest duration. That way we can blow out some of the exhaust gas with the boost. So that'll really make this thing efficient. Um, and then flat top piston, and like new head gasket, new gaskets and all that, and then an ARC top cover. That way we don't have to run the exhaust straight out this way um, and to avoid the gas tank. We can just loop it right around and point it up. It's gonna look really cool. So, a huge build here. We also wanna paint the engine and shave down the sides here, kind of like a Harley. So we'll paint it black and then we'll have like the aluminum fins showing. It should look really cool. So lots going on in this one. Let's get right started. Cylinder wall looks really good. I mean, no scoring or anything. Oil's, I mean, pretty black, but most oil we take out of these things is black anyways. So, I mean, really, I just think <clears throat> replacing that piston and all the rod and stuff, the crank looks fine. So, this is a good candidate to build. Okay, so I got this block all cleaned up. Basically, looks brand new. So now we got this NR flat top racing piston and we're gapping the uh, piston rings to 57 thousandths, which I have right here on the feeler gauge. And that is good to go. So now I'm gonna gap the other rings as well as the oil rings. And then we can install this piston with the ARC rod. All right guys, so we got the rod torqued and our new piston in looks really good. So now we're installing the fire cam. This thing is sweet. So. Sure, most of y'all know all there is to installing the cam is lining up the two dots. So now for we have this side cover, but for painting purposes, we're gonna slap on the old one. That way we don't have to worry about masking it off or anything. We can just spray over it. Oh, kind of rookie mistake. Um, this fat daddy cam's hidden on the on the uh, crankshaft, so we marked where we need to shave it. Now I gotta take everything off again and redo it, but. At least we noticed, and then just try to start her out. But it would have, it would, it will not turn over. This is the biggest cam we've ever put in this, in one of these predators. So exactly where we were before, but I clearance the crank. Now I really didn't need to shave that much off, and she spins over good, no knocking or anything. So now we have these head studs. Or basically like, it'll, we can torque down the head bolts more, and basically they're studs, so they're a little bit easier to work with. So. All we gotta do, it's easy as just thread them in like this. All right guys, so here's a little bit of a comparison. You can see 
This is a regular non-hemi head and there's a ton of gap here and the valves are bigger on this guy. So this is really sweet. So now, all we gotta do, slide this baby on. It's a good looking engine. So yeah, this is a non-hemi head. It's okay because, I mean, it doesn't really matter. The only thing, it's basically we're putting a non-hemi head on a hemi, but it works. So now we'll thread these on and torque them down. Um, basically, I just stopped putting the rockers on because they don't fit with this regular valve cover. And we want to just have this on here so we don't have to mask it off. So basically now what we're going to do is we're going to mask this thing off, paint it black, and then we can shave the fins and get on with the rebuild. High temp engine enamel. And what we're going for here is just to paint the block and then kind of sand down the edges of these fins so they're shiny and aluminum, kind of like a Harley. So we cleaned it off with a bunch of brake clean, make sure all the gunk was off. And we're just going to start putting some coats on this thing. We finished painting it black with that engine enamel. Now we're just going to really slowly sand down all the edges of these fins with some fine grit sandpaper. That is going to look good. Back to time lapse. Have fun sanding each fin one by one, Joe. I will. <laughs> uh, next time you see me, I'll have an actual beard. Alright guys, so I was scratching my head as to why these roller rockers wouldn't fit on our engine here. And uh, the push rod wasn't bent before, but basically like the cam was all the way up and the spring was all the way down and I was still trying to crank it and it bent. So then I went and I was like, crap, and then I went to go get a new push rod. And then I, then I grabbed the push rod from another engine and realized it was a lot shorter. So. Now I know Hemi push rods are actually longer than non-Hemi push rods, and because this used to be a Hemi, I was trying to put the Hemi push rods in it. So, just so you know, if you do get one of these engines, or one of these performance heads from Go Power Sports, um, make sure you have the right length push rods on you. All right, people. This thing is all sanded. Got the clear valve cover on. It is gorgeous so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on getting that billet side cover on so basically the end plane is between 10 and 15 on that gauge right now it's all the way up to 35 so basically what that means is that I need to add a shim or two and get that end plate I'll show you when it's done okay guys there's our end plate, it's right about at 15, which is at the higher end of the tolerance, but I've tried putting another shim in and it's just too tight. So this is pretty darn good. All right guys, so this thing is pretty much good to go. Um, still need to add oil and stuff like that. I think I believe it was like 16 ounces. But yeah, this thing is really rad. Got the coil on. Um, on these billet flywheels, I just push the coil back as far as possible. I've, like, on a race bike, we freaking smoked that coil, and that was gapped to ARC spec. I don't know. It still makes a really strong spark all the way back. So, I don't know. I don't feel like it needs to go forward anymore. Here is our engine cover. Um, it's kind of, it's pretty red. It's kind of this bluish gray color. It looks really blue on camera right now but it's actually really gray. It'll be a nice accent to the blue on the cart. So let's just slap this baby on. Ooh, hello. Okay, this is sick. This is so freaking sick. Man. Well, if y'all have seen the videos before, you may remember this exhaust, the one that was just went right here to avoid the gas tank. Well, now we have all of this real estate, so I'm gonna cut this off the flange and then remake one that goes up, around, and up with a muffler right here. That way the exhaust goes out towards the back and it's gonna be less exhaust noise and more tur turbo noise, which is gonna be kind of essential in this engine, so it's going to be very, very loud. All 
I just mutilated a Go Power Sports muffler and made it into one that fits up our turbo. So that's pretty cool. Um, we'll probably just end up exhaust wrapping it because the welds aren't the prettiest. Well, pie cuts aren't really that pretty. So we'll just wrap it up and it'll look cool with all the different colors. And there she goes. Finishing touches. We also put it on the cart just so we can get a feel for how she's gonna look.